Hey guys, it's Drew with Kush Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're going to show you a box of coins that we got from a subscriber recently. Just a really great group, a lot to learn from these coins, a lot of great pieces in here that you don't see every day. So let's get this video started. We hope you enjoy. So during the month of October, there's not a lot of coin shows in Oklahoma or in Louisiana or in Texas where we normally do coin shows. So we have to be resourceful in the way that we acquire inventory. And so we reached out to our friends, uh, Bill, and we also reached out to our friend Andreas. They uh, ended up sending us some coins for us to show you guys today that we ended up purchasing from them. So the question is, how does buying from a subscriber work? So people reach out to us via text, people reach out to us via our website. Instagram, Facebook, whatever. We end up talking to them about what coins they have and then we end up agreeing on a price. Once the coins arrive in our hand, we end up sending them a check and it ends up being a really great process. And the way that we kind of talk about pricing coins is that we either use Graysheet and we use sold comps and we use eBay comps. All of that kind of culminates together in, into an offer that we offer them. So yesterday we received Bill and Andreas's coins and we ended up giving them as much as we could and then we ended up pricing them just a little bit more on our website. But I wanted to take some time today. I wanted to show you these coins individually, just get your thoughts on them, um, and just let us know down below if you enjoy them. Let's show you those coins right now. All right, guys, so the first coin I want to show you is this 1858 large letters flying eagle scent. It's graded fine 12 by PCGS, CEC approved. Some of these you're going to scratch your head and ask why they went to CC, and uh, there's still a demand for them. It's just uh, back in the day it was a lot more cheap to send stuff to CC for stickering. Now it's become a little bit more expensive, especially for collectors. I know uh, dealers always had to pay the sticker price if it didn't or did. It's the 1919S Mercury Dime. Probably pulled out of an album. It's a great AU50. Mostly original look to it for sure. Just nice general wear, early date. People like buying those just because they're not going to spend the big bucks on filling that date in their set. This 1893 CC Morgan Dollar, graded fine 12 by PCGS, CEC approved. Nice, wholesome, original coin. It was graded a little bit further back. Holders in pristine condition as well. 93 CCs and 89 CCs are always what people are you know, on the hunt for. And this one definitely checks all the boxes. We have this 1960 Franklin Half Dollar Grade Proof 67 Star Cameo with the CC sticker. I mean, just a gorgeous coin that's super easy to sell if you ever run to stuff like this, just because of, I don't know, how attractive the coin is. I know it was made 1960, but come on, beautiful coin. Look at this 1851, three cent silver. It's kind of hard to pick up on this camera, but uh, it is great. AU58, it is CC approved. When you take a look at the coin, it does have a little bit of, uh, it's kind of missing a little bit of the letters, but that's just kind of probably from the strike. These coins are so thin, and that's what you kind of see on three cent silvers, but. CC approved original coin, just a little gentle wear to the coin. Up next is this 1921 high relief piece dollar. It's graded XF40 by PCGS. Mid grade, key date. CC approved. Once again, just nice even wear. This is what coins really should look like. So we're so happy that Bill sent us some stuff like this. Very happy uh, with these coins. Up next is a 1943. Steel set, graded mint state 67, CC approved. Flashy coin, mostly problem free. Almost as nice as they come. Definitely a few 68s hanging out out there, but for the money, 67s are really great. Do you guys want to sell us coins? Here's my cell phone. Here's my personal cell phone number. If you guys ever want to get in contact with me about buying a coin or selling a coin, there's my phone number. It's easy. It's seamless. I send you an offer back or I help you out with the transaction. I'm here for you guys 24 hours a day, so make sure to reach out. 
sell some coins because we're always on the lookout and sometimes it can be a little tough to find some. So we really appreciate your help. Let's get back to today's video. Up next is this 1920 Mercury Dime. Probably pulled out of the same album as that uh, 1919S, but this one might have been placed a little bit later. These were graded together, so just, uh, you know, it has a little bit of friction or a little bit of kind of scuffiness to the high points on the obverse. Maybe because of the strike, that's probably what they were thinking. When you're looking down at the date, it's a little bit soft as well. That's what I've learned about kind of anything under gem is sometimes the, the strike on the rim is soft, especially by the date. But another early date coin for the series. And this 85cc Morgan Dollar graded fine 12 by PCGS, CAC approved. Gorgeous even wear. Exactly how fines should look like. Then we have this 1879S Morgan Dollar graded Min State 64. CAC approved. I think it's in a 3.0 gen holder. I might be corrected in this video, but we'll see. Just a nice flashy estimate coin. Bought this because of the holder. And uh, yeah, just a decent coin for sure. Stunning. Then we have this 81cc. Graded VG10. There's a lot of people out there that like to collect low ball Morgan dollars. And, uh, you know, when you find a key date like this, it's kind of hard to pass up. Then we have this 1852 three cent silver. Mostly original coin, VF30. Just an affordable type coin. Then we have a few kind of more modern coins here. 1962 Proof Franklin Half, graded Proof 66. Then we have this 1943D Steel Cent, graded Min State 67. The luster's phenomenal. The fields are really nice. It's an older PCGS holder also. But wait until you guys see the S. The S is just probably my favorite of the whole, you know, the whole kit and caboodle here. Just because it's a little bit more flashy, has that proof-like finish to it. And uh, a collector bought these and we're going to keep them all together, which is pretty cool. We have this 1878 CC Morgan Dollar. First year of the Carson Cities and of Morgan Dollars in general. VG8 CC approved. So right now we're just developing our eye. You're developing your eye of what a coin looks like that's original and also kind of figuring out between the grade ranges, you know, VG10, VG8, Fine 12, Fine 15, VF20. All those things you guys need to look at just so when you're at a coin show, you're not paying you know, VF20 prices for VGA coins that are raw. You gotta, what we try to do is we try to understand where these coins would end up if we sent them to the graders and possibly if they would CAC. 79 CC, definitely a coveted date that is affordable for you. One day it'd be great to own a Min State 64 and show you guys, but until that day comes, we're gonna be showing you guys those you know, a little bit of a lower end for that date. We have this 1921 high relief. Showed you XF40 earlier. This one's VF35. CC approved. Still has some remaining luster to it, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, can't go wrong with that coin. Then the last coin I want to show you in this video is this 1948. First year Franklin half dollar grade of Mid-State 64. It has full bell lines. Nice luster original haze and yeah thank you guys for taking a look at all of our new purchases thank you guys for watching today's video if you guys did enjoy today's video make sure to leave a like comment your thoughts on the coins that we shared today and subscribe if you're new we also have a deal running right now for 1888 morgan dollars we have them five dollars back of gray sheet on our website acoustic so make sure to check out that deal and buy some coins we'll see you guys in the next one